That took all of about 20 seconds to get our first fish. And we are modeling today, believe it or not. Are you getting an agent now? <laughs> Hi. We're taking the boat out for the first time in almost a month. We came to Stock Island, which is right next to Key West, and we left the boat for two weeks when we were headed to Utah for a work trip. Now we're gonna be leaving in three days from this marina and headed back to Port Charlotte to put the boat on the heart. It was time to pull the boat out and tackle a few big projects. More on that in a bit. And we've got a couple days here that we've finally managed to carve out to go jump in the water and hopefully snorkel, maybe see a couple fish. Sunny, gorgeous, hot, and unfortunately there hardly is, uh, I don't know, a knot of wind. So we'll probably be motoring to wherever we drop anchor. But, yeah, fun day. What'd you settle on? I don't know. Kirk's trying to find some bait. Corn, hot dogs, peanut butter sandwiches, soap, gumballs. Ivory soap. Raisins. I don't know, man. I feel like we could try raisins, because I'd be willing to give those up. <laughs> and that dude that was next to us, that went to the Bahamas, yeah. said that his buddy told him wooden plugs soaked in WD-40. <laughs> I think someone's pulling her leg. I've read about this working fantastically, but if anyone has any other tips for rigging a handline while under sail, I'd love to hear them in the comments. One, two, three, jump. Apparently <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to close my mouth while I jumped it. <laughs> Jeez. You're making this really sexy. <laughs> I know. So those big projects we mentioned? This was one of them. A bottom job. Below the waterline hadn't been touched since we left the freshwater of Lake Michigan. And it definitely needed it. What did you just see? You saw a sea turtle. <laughs> I saw a sea turtle, yeah. And you scared him. Oh, I saw him dive. Yeah, he's gone. How are you? I'm good. I'm cleaning the bottom. Okay. Or at least... The sides? The sides. What I can reach without going under. So my lungs are kind of wussy right now. And in an attempt to clean as much of the boat as I could, I decided to stay above water. Beautiful it is. See you, Stock Island Marina. So many hours spent there, love. Someone's on the radio and it sounds like they're run aground or their boat is sinking. We can only hear the Coast Guard side of this conversation because the other guy's radio isn't very powerful, just like ours. The Coast Guard was asking if they had life jackets and if they had enough food and water and if there were kids on board and it sounded 
dire, but I guess that's maybe just the usual questions I ask. Um, yeah, hopefully they're okay. Meanwhile, we have a powerless autopilot going reasonably well. So Pretty sweet bimini top we got there. It's not bad. Yes, our sarong bimini was pretty sweet, given the alternative of no shade whatsoever. This was going to be big project number two after we hauled out. Build a real bimini. To make it to Kea Costa meant arriving after dark, so we called an audible and after 120 miles we turned into Fort Myers Beach. <gasps> Holy hell! Oh wait, what is that thing though? Um, it might be a... Did you put the whole shrimp on there? No, I put one. Oh really? Half. What are you? You're a catfish. Shit, this is spiny barb. Oh no. That took all of about 20 seconds. <laughs> To get our first fish. All right. Um, you put him in the center of the cockpit, I think. Because I think he is kind of spiny. Kirk was right. This was a saltwater catfish. He has dorsal fin. I think that's a big old spike. Specifically, a gaff top sail catfish, or sail cat. Notorious for going after anything on a hook. Hey, watch yourself. What are you going to do? It's not really hooked in there very well. Yeah. So. I'm just gonna see if I can get it off this way. Do you want me to hold the line while you grab the back of the fish? Oh shit. It's, it's a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. There we go. He's fine. Can you swim away? Yeah. <laughs> what is all that? It's all his slime. 
In addition to their poisonous spiny barbs, they excrete an extremely slippery toxic slime when caught. We're learning. <laughs> I don't know if we're cut out for this whole fishing thing. <laughs> How do I get all of this slime off of me? Mm. So we're hanging out here at Cabbage Key, just north of Fort Myers, where we left the boat for a couple of days. And we're doing a Hobie shoot with our buddies over at Hobie. When we lived in San Diego, we became friends with a few people who worked at Hobie, including the staff photographer. When two of their models dropped out last minute, he asked if we could fill in. We are modeling today, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so we're driving kayaks around. This afternoon, we're gonna get up on stand-up paddle boards. We're not doing anything today. We're literally sitting and eating. Drinking a La Croix. Yeah, and we were out on the water for like 40 minutes, and now we've had nothing to do for the last two hours, and we're gonna have nothing to do for another hour and a half. And by we, Lauren means she is not doing anything today, because I just spent an hour and a half on a conference call. Now I'm gonna go edit sound. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm just hanging out with my new gal pal, Naomi. And, you know, just living up the model life. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Are you ready, sir, Kurt? <laughs> I would like to go paddleboarding now, you Jeeves. Like to go? Or kayaking. <laughs> oh, you have a life jacket on? That's good. Yeah. Because I'm going to flip you over. <laughs> 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 okay. Today is day two of I'm trying to look suave. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, trying not to look like giant goobers who yeah. just came off of a boat and. Uh, which is totally what we are. Which is what we are. But we're having a blast. It's been yeah. fun. It's, it's been a nice cool. diversion from the boat. Yes. So, I think we should probably head over there. I touched him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's scared. <laughs> he's squeezing all the water out. Only squeezing in tighter and tighter. Yeah. All right, I'll put you back. <laughs> there you go. Give me the I'm proud of my kids look. <laughs> I learned all of these looks from the real model, Naomi, over there, who was hired like from an actual agency not just because we were friends the company like we are. <laughs> um, but she has these looks that she does for all of her commercial lifestyle shoots, and there's like four main ones. One of them is, I'm proud of my kids, and it's like, something like that. That's pretty good. <laughs> there's inner determination when you're overcoming an obstacle and you resolve to be all that you can be. So basically like a mom getting over her allergies to take care of her kids. I have to do it like with handlebars. Oh, okay. Because I'm on the eclipse. Yeah. With allergies. And sneeze. <laughs> um, oh, okay. There's um, there's over the shoulder laughing at your friend. <laughs> so are you gonna sign up? Are you getting an agent now? Hell no. Did you see the interview I tried to do? <laughs> It froze up like a clam. You can paddle and you can paddle. Tell me about that. If clams freeze. They do. I'm totally fine talking to your iPhone and then as soon as the videographer says, okay, can you say this for me? I'm like... Repeat after me, word for word. Yeah, and I can't, uh, I can't do it with 
<laughs> oh wow. He is huge. Oh hey dude. He's right under you. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Hi! <laughs> oh my god, can you see us? Like, what's, what's going through his head right now? What are you thinking, dude? Hi! Oh. Yeah. yeah! Come on over! I we haven't touch touched him, no. He's got hit by a boat. See him? Is that what that was? The blow in the boat? Yeah. Yeah. Turned over? I am not your mother. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's rolling again. <laughs>